he did not send us to righteous men he sent us to the world he said go ye in the world now among us there are people who are not yet perfect and we are willing to be associated with them because we understand the journey we are also coming from far they too will change this revival prophesied about in africa it's going to come through men who are ready to receive Lambano, get a hold of it. The Greek word there of your spirit aggressively take it. No, don't receive humbly, receive with your spirit aggression. Put some aggression. He says, The kingdom of God suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. This violence is to get a hold of your spirit and say, I receive the glory of my generation. Let me tell you why from the days of John, the kingdom of God suffered violence. Let me tell you why from the days of John, the kingdom of God suffered violence. Let me tell you why it suffered violence. Let me take you back. Let me, he said the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Some people think that this portion of scripture means that the devil is attacking the kingdom. <laughs> the devil cannot attack the kingdom. He was rendered powerless. He cannot suffer the kingdom. You read your Bible wrong. Otherwise, if you say that, then the violent take it by force, you'd mean that the devil takes the kingdom. The devil cannot take the kingdom. It's the other way around. It's the kingdoms of this world becoming the kingdoms of our God. We are the ones taking over. That's why the war is at the gates of hell and the gates of hell shall not prevail because the war is at the gates of hell, not at the gates of heaven, not at the gates of the kingdom. Shout amen. Let me tell you why since John. Because I once mentioned something I've not yet told and I pray that God will give me the articulation, the grace to explain this. But I touched it once. Let me amplify it a bit. The Bible tells us that no man born by a woman was greater than John the Baptist. Those who are slain, bring them in front. No man born by a woman was greater than John the Baptist. That means since Adam, the beginning of man, there's only one man more anointed than John, and that was Adam. Adam was more anointed than John. How do I know? John was killed by a dancing girl. John the Baptist was killed by a girl who danced and appeased the king. And she asked for his head and it was brought on a silver platter. Yet no man born by a woman was more anointed than John. John was greater than Moses. Because Moses was born by a woman. John was greater than Abraham. Because Abraham was born by a woman. On the exception of Melchizedek. Who we have no roots of parents and stuff. But Melchizedek was not born by a man or woman. So we can't classify him as a man. Who is following what I'm saying? Now follow me. Adam was more anointed. And let me show you how. Even after the fall, when God cast Adam. Oh no, he pronounced the curse that had fallen on Adam and Eve. I want you to go back and remember. That in spite that curse, Adam lived for how many? 900? 930 something years. Imagine a man living 930 something years under a curse. He's under a curse, but he has enough anointing to live for 930 years. Who is 
Please follow what I'm saying. Are you following what I'm saying? He is under a curse. He's a fallen man. But he has enough anointing to speak to his body. Get in order. 930 years speaking to his kidneys and liver. That's power. But Methuselah lived longer. The scriptures told us none born by a woman was greater than John. None born by a woman. Are you following what I'm saying? Now, but he says, but the least in the kingdom, in the kingdom, is greater than John. Who got it? The least in the kingdom is greater than John. If you're born again, you're greater than John. Yet he was greater than any man born by a woman. Eh? Are you following what I'm saying? John is the spirit in the world and is crying out, Repent ye. Repent the Greek word there is metanoia, meaning change your mind. The kingdom is coming. The, what their kingdom is realm. There is a new realm coming. Repent ye for the realm of God is coming. He's the voice in the wilderness. And some men with understanding under, connect to what must be received. And they get a violence. <laughs> Hey, some men in the kid who they see that this fellow, none born by a woman, is greater than him. But even the least is greater than John. The violent take it by force, and the kingdom starts to witness violence. <laughs> Don't think this violence is the persecution. Ah, that, 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 that. Listen, th he's talking about this violence. The kingdom suffered violence because there were violent men saying, I must receive everything. So the kingdom starts to bear the burden of the violence. Of men who pray because they are ready to receive. Hey, who got it? Since John. Why? Why since John? Because John came saying, there's a kingdom coming. And it is greater. There is one coming. <laughs> Of whom a man worthy. Of course, this shook hell. But don't think that hell can rage any violence on the kingdom. Because if you saw what Jesus did, the devil was rendered powerless. He's a defeated enemy. There's nothing he can do to the kingdom. So you ask, what about those who are under witchcraft, suffering? Ignorance. They just don't know who they are. But when you know <laughs> that greater is he who is in you than he which is in the world. What violence? You direct your prayer on connecting to everything God has given you in Christ. That is why when Jesus was healing the sick, you saw no violence. Lazarus. 
and there is nothing in the world the devil can do instead of turning to devils turn your do you get it be aggressive in knowing God this is eternal life that you may know the one true God and his own son Jesus you meet darkness and just say light you find sickness and say leave pastor Joshua knows a child they brought a child with a bad infection I don't know what they called it and they told the mother fly this child to India immediately pastor Joshua knows the kid kid had a swollen eye like this they bring the child I tell the mother don't take the child take her back home the eye had me the devil is a liar and his mother-in-law I refuse I will not fail I refuse I cannot die early I refuse witchcraft cannot come near me Patago Zipra Dagata I'm more than a conqueror sickness is not my portion poverty is not my portion I'm taking over oh yes they'll call you names they'll say you use sticks you use eggs you use carrots you use elephants you use snakes whatever they do let them do some of us know what the bible says i know what god gave me glory to god the difference between me and some people who don't understand us is simple we received If death reigned by one man, how much more they which receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus. Let me explain. Read the Amplified. Read the Amplified of that. Let's read the Amplified. Let's read. One, two, let's go. For if because of one man's trespass, lapse, offense, death reigned through that one, much more, surely, 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 will those who receive God's overflowing grace, unmerited favor, and the free gift of righteousness, Putting them into right standing with himself. Reign as survivors. Reign as victims. Reign as beggars. Reign as kings. In what? Life. Through the one man, Jesus. Every king has a territory. I define my boundaries. And every territory has gates and it has thrones. And I've seen men sitting on gates without thrones. And I've seen men sitting on gates, I repeat, without thrones. But this is a generation that's going to possess its gates and its thrones. That is why the finder in this narrative is finding territory because they receive it has been given draw your crown of influence the world will hear you lead because you're kingly and I tell people when you understand how this anointing works you can lead from the back And still lead you can have such an influence 
such an influence on your spirit that you say something from the back and the man in the front hears. Not all kings went on the front lines of war, but the wars were defeated. Not everybody who leads should lead on the front. I don't need to be on a pulpit to be a leader. You don't need to be on the television station or on YouTube or Instagram to be. But wherever you will be, child of God, you're going to be influential. You enter the UN, enter World Health Organizations, sit on any office that you'll be. You shall be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, above only. He said, the Deuteronomy 28, I didn't say it's above only. Only. Because we reign. <laughs> touch three people and tell them this generation is in trouble because I'm here because I'm here tell somebody because I'm here 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 I'm here I'm here I'm here I'm here I'm here the Bible says Savior shall come from Zion listen The violent take it by force. This one was for takers, not attackers. This was for takers, not attackers. Satan is defeated. He's defeated. That's why he says when you rebuke devils and they obey, know that the kingdom of God is come. That means in that kingdom, a devil cannot refuse to go. It must go. Chisaga. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The devil is joking. He must go. That's what the kingdom of God means. The devil can't resist the realm of God. It's the realm of God that resists him. Now, listen. Is it so much to receive your generation? Oh, you see, look at religion. Let me ask again. Is it so much to receive your, your, your generation? so much to receive revival it's here it's here it's here let me tell you I'm a very small man in the body but I'm a warrior in my spirit I know how to conquer territories I know how to run through troops. I know how to vaunt high fences. This is the reason Fanero looks the way it looks. I know how to consecrate my altar. This is what I knew since my university days. That you might be so frail and small. But in there you must be a warrior. You must be a warrior. You must be aggressive enough to receive what has already been given because some things will take a certain power to receive by faith sarah received hebrews 11 11 by faith sarah received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of her child when she was past age because he judged him faithful who had promised. She received strength. 98 years, Sarah connected with a certain aggression because in the spirit, Isaac existed. I said in the spirit, 
Isaac existed. The womb was barren. But every time she went in prayer, she felt like there was Isaac. Isaac was somewhere. He was somewhere. He was somewhere. Katabada Zabradagata. Come on. Tap someone and tell him. Express your violence. In receiving. Because God said, Sarah shall have. That means when God said Sarah shall have, Isaac was released. But the scriptures tell us it took Sarah 14 years with Isaac in the air because she was building strength. Some of you it has taken you 15 years. Power the Holy Ghost. Receive it. Put it down. Oh my God. Someone has received it. Power In five seconds, somebody's going to receive an anointing you've never felt before. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Like you've never felt before. That came because you are ready. Some people are not yet. Some people are not yet. But they'll get there. Some people are faster to receive than others. Some are too proud. Some are too composed. <laughs> no one ever will compare to you, Jesus. Are magnificent, eternally oh, quiet. Only the band. Wonderful, glorious, Jesus. Quiet. I want you praying. No one Let him be. Let him be. To you, Jesus. Now listen. I want to finish. Some of you, your callings are lingering. Your assignments are lingering. They're somewhere. Given. But not received. Your mandates are given but not received. This is the evening. You're going to lay aside all filthiness and superfluity.